right, you're ready. Give him an intro. This is Rodney Strickland. I'm here with Ron Park. Uh, we're fixing to watch Sydney Champion in Cotton play. The race is 9 6. This is a one loss side of the Great Southern Barrier Tour. Uh, glad to have everybody with us viewing. Uh, we'd love if you come out and watch it. It'll be going on through Sunday. They'll be starting the eight ball later on tonight. How you doing, Ron? Hey, Rodney. How are you? How's it going? We're doing all right. Oh. Now I hear you probably. Can they hear me in the chat? Everything all right out there? Erica's mom? I'm not hearing you. Oh, you're not? <clears throat> well, I don't know why. Let me see. We'll get Alvin. JR. JR. I'm not. And we're back. It was like seven minutes. Looks like Champion uh, won the lag, and he'll be first to break. Yeah. I just played Cotton. Is he uh, playing? How's he playing? Uh, he's, he's struggled on a little bit. He's, he gets a little nervous, too. Uh, Sydney's an eight player. He's a good player. I played him before. Uh, and this is his home pool room, too. And he's won this event before. I uh, made a five ball on the break. Oh, that you didn't want to run that too there. No. It just plays safe. Put the two at the end rail or something. Yeah, he tried to get behind the eight, but it came a little too much spin there. Yeah, I think they're playing one more round here of the nine ball, and then they're going to be going into the uh, eight ball tournament. Just had the uh, player auction, and they're doing a the drawing right now. So after this round, uh, we'll see some eight ball action up here on the screen. Nice little draw shot. Just probably rolled us up and shoot a seven down in the corner. Uh, I got a little funny angle on the seven. Yeah, on the might wrong get, side. Yeah, you might go. You could draw it back. I think. Yeah. Come off the end rail. A little spin. I just forced. Well, I came off the side. He had enough handle. Oh. My got a little fortunate there. Hung up the eight ball, but I think he got cotton hook. Yeah, I don't know if he could spin off the end rail or not. Kind of like, uh, yeah, just go up table one rail, get it soft, hopefully get lucky and make it. And, yeah, uh, maybe come uh, to the side rail, only the second rail. Play the uh, nine on the side. Yeah, just like that off the side rail. Ooh. Yeah, he hit, 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 yeah. hit it hard thinking he was going to hit the rail and come off there. But Yeah, that's the problem with shooting it right dead on. Yeah. You never know if that ball's going to stop or, or fall right in behind it. And just like that, we're underway, one nothing. Uh, be Cotton's break. J 
Josh. Do you win, Josh? Uh, Babs, uh, Josh beat Matt Reed last round. I made it three in the eight in the corner. It was like that cue ball. Yeah, that cue ball got a little loose. Made also made the four in the side. Made three balls on the break plus one. The one you don't want to make, old Whitey. A little straight in on the two. I just spin it a little bit. Shoot a five in the side. I'm a little too high, but I think he's alright. Could draw it back, I think. Oh, ran it at nine. Oh, now he's got a little tougher. Pretty good. Uh, Cotton jumped up on that ball like I do, and he got lucky. Nine balls a funny game. Three yep. balls on the table, and he stitched. Uh, it looked like uh, Sydney hit it too thick. Yeah, uh, Southern Girl, uh, yes, uh, Larry's not playing right now. He's still on the winner's side. Uh, I don't think the winner's side of match is going to be played again until tomorrow. short on this nine. It looks like he can cut it in though. Yeah, he should be able to cut it in pretty good. Oh. Oh no. Got some people asking about the rankings. Uh, oh. They have triple A's, double A's, A's, B's, and C's. Yes. Uh, we've got three triple A players. Uh, Larry Neville, of course, Shannon Dalton, and Tony Watson are your three triple A players in the tournament. Oh, we got, um, we got, uh, you know, we got Sam Monday. We got, uh. Well, Sam's double A. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sam and Keith are double A. I'm not used to them playing. That's <laughs> Tony Watson's is he's triple A, right? Uh, triple A's go to 13. Uh, double A's go to 11. A's go to 9. B's go to 7. And C's go to 6 right. in the 9 ball. And you said there was three triple A's? Three triple A's. Tony Watson, Larry Neville, and, and Shannon. Shannon. Okay. Uh, Cotton just got him a game there. A 1-1 one, one with He's, champ breaking. Yeah, and uh, Cotton, by the way, is a C player. Yes. They moved him down. Yeah. 
So what that means is that Sydney's got to beat them nine to five. Nine to six. No, he's. C players got a six. The That's what I mean. He's got to beat him nine. Oh, five. from here. Yeah, yeah. Eight, eight, five from here. The total score. Didn't have a shot on the one, so he just pushed out. Uh, I like uh, putting the cue ball behind the eight here and making the one back up table. What is ranking for unknown player? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, you probably, uh, even if you're unknown, you probably have to hit some balls. And I guess Shannon will make a determination on how good you play. Well, if nobody knows you, unless somebody knows you and is honest. And there are but you can't very stand few back. people. There are very few people that uh, yeah. are totally unknown right. and uh, they do reserve the right to move people oh. during the matches. Which happened. Exactly. Last yeah. week, didn't it? it I think so. In the I believe, uh, and, it's t and somebody uh, that I know had uh, this guy in the Calcutta as a B and he moved them up to an A. And he didn't like that because he brought him in the Calcutta and he had to be moved up in the finals. I think that happened in Greenville, South Carolina. And I think about 10 years ago, I was down in Wilmington and bought this guy that uh, nobody knew for like $80. A guy named Rodolfo Luat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's funny, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you sneak by. I mean, yeah. I've seen players, you know, good players sneak by and nobody recognized them. Or yeah, but that, that's rare occurrences normally. Yeah, right. Well, Cotton's not, not running out or anything, but he's not leaving no easy game for uh, champ either. Like champ might get a little roll here. I don't know if you can see, but maybe just a hair or three. <laughs> you can see more of than I thought he could. Now it's like I might play safe on the four. Well, he didn't hide it, I don't think, but uh, he made it a little tough. I think Champ's going to have to think of some kind of safe from here. Uh-oh. That's the only problem with that particular safe right there. Yeah, he's trying to hit it kind of slow, I think. You, you could leave the distance if you can't hide him. You can leave distance, which is it's, always good. Especially with a lower-ranked player. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if you do that with uh, Shannon or Larry or somebody, it's tough. You're taking uh, a bigger risk. Oh, this is interesting. He's going the long route. He was just shooting the ball so he didn't have okay. to move the cue ball. Right. Instant position, I call it. And I'd like to say thanks to J.R. Calvert and the inside pool staff. They did a great job. Uh, setting all this equipment up so the viewers can see it at home uh, a lot of high-tech cameras and stuff so you'll see them in a lot of your events yeah they they were down in uh, Tampa for the US amateurs
sounds like this. For the viewers just joining us, uh, this is uh, Ronnie Park, and I'm joined by Rodney Strickland. And we're commentating on this match between uh, Cotton and Champ. That's their nicknames. Let me get a little commercial here. Whenever they're like this, I like to keep them on the front, so you're not looking at their back. Cool. Other than that, you guys are doing great. How's the competition, all right? <laughs> yeah. we got 10,000 viewers right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had them until me and Ron came on, and they dropped down to about 200. Okay, here we go. Cotton break in. 2-1. Was he shooing away a fly there? I think so. <laughs> that or he's he's kind of I saying, come on, let's go. It's kind of comical the way he's punching the air there. This might be one of those distance safes like you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Uh, Send a one ball back up table. Yeah, yeah, he decided to think. I guess he was too close to the rail for ha to yeah. have the, uh, the one ball come straight back, which is an ideal safe. Well, he's going to have to do something here. He's like shooting into the rail. You know, you know this this particular kick right here, his speed is important. Wow. Not too bad. He did that pretty good. Playing the rail first. Somebody asking if Kerry Dunn's still in the tournament. Uh, I he yes, he, he's still in the tournament. I'm not sure if he's on the winner's side or the one loss side. I'm not sure either. But I can find out. Uh, he lost I'll take a look at the board. And it's like Kenny's saying hello, Kenny Wilson. Hey, what's up, man? I think that's Tiger, huh? I ain't get quite enough angle on that. How's the stream on the uh, on the computer side? It must look good. Yes. Should be the same as that. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like you don't have a problem until he gets to the five, the four to the five. Might, he's going to come up with something here or try to break it out. And I think that's what he's trying to do is nudge it right there and missed. Yeah, that would have been uh, the ideal thing to do right there is not nudge it and stay above it. It's tough to judge though. Right? Yeah. Sydney plays good. Man. Looks like he's going for the bank shot. He's got a good game. Uh, and uh, he yeah. might come out okay here. Yeah. He this is a tough little kick shot here. He ain't got much room to work with. He's got to go two, possibly three rails and come behind it. Yeah, three rails would be ideal. Oh, oh, barely missed it. If he hit that a little softer, he probably would have hit it. I think he had a little left hand spin that kicked it further out off that first rail.
Kenny, this is uh, Rodney Strickland and uh, Ron Parks commentating, you were asking. No Rodney Park. Everybody puts, puts an S on my name. <laughs> hey, Marty, how you doing? Up there in cold weather land. It's Marty Herman. How you been? Mm, I don't like that shot. Drew it back, took a chance to scratch him. And uh, he's got a tough little bank right here. And then he ain't guaranteeing a position. Uh, the website to get on here uh, is insidepool.tv, is that it? I think so. Or you can uh, go to Ustream and just uh, search inside pool. I uh, like a little two-way, trying to bank it to the side and uh, play a little safe behind the nine. And didn't quite get behind a nine, but he's left uh, Cotton on the rail and a long shot. Tough shot. You know, I play safe from here. I hit it thin on the left side, let it go to the end rail, come off the side rail into the end rail, and bring the cue ball back down here. You know, going for this shot, you know, it's, it's tough. Well, Champ's got to kind of come with a little shot here. It takes a chance to... If he don't draw it good or hit it a little off center, he can scratch in that side. Uh, Southern Girl, I think if you uh, search inside pool, or just search pool, on Ustream, uh, you, I think you can find it. Uh, it'll come up with Great Southern Beer Tour and uh, Inside Pool, but it's actually Inside Pool Stream uh, this weekend. That was a pretty good shot. Uh, didn't get rewarded for it, but uh, he shot it in pretty good. Yeah, now he's got his work cut out. All right, listen up. First eight ball match of the night. Eight ball. Table number nine. Can I get Miguel Castillo and Glenn Russell? Miguel Castillo, Glenn Russell on table nine. That's a race to six. Eight ball. The last four. All the next matches that I'll be calling will be eight ball matches. That's uh, Marge Cooper's voice you hear in the background calling out matches. Oh, look at that show. Oh, he got a little, little break there. I thought it was in. He did get lucky. Uh, Cotton gets right up there and mess around. There wow. Goes. Uh, round and around and around she goes. Oh. Well. Wow, he's kind of leaving Champ funny well, he when is, he misses he's here. Gonna, he's going to uh, cross cross it, bank it, cross bank it, or cut it in the side, or cut it in the corner. I think he, I think he like likes it goes to the side. I don't know, he's looking at the side. Yeah, he might. No, it's like a cross, like you're talking about. Oh, and just like that, it's 2-2. Two -two.
That's four. People want me to play him even when I'm commentating. It's amazing. Well, they've always told me I've got a great face for radio, so. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you have a great voice. Better than mine. Champ's got a uh, ball spread real good. Uh, maybe come one rail and shoot that three in the side. Or just slide it up and shoot down here in this bottom left corner. Yeah, he's got to get positioned to where he can get to the five. Well, oh. Well. That's kind of close there. Well, if he could shoot the three in the side, he may be able to come back. Uh, come two rails. Yeah, come to straight back. Maybe by the eight. It's hard to tell from this angle. We don't have a very good view. Okay, he had enough to. Oh, that's yeah. a good shot. Well, he'd like to go forward, but he. He doesn't want to run into the eight. So he may play the six in the side. He stopped at playing the corner, it looks like. Of course he'll do everything I'll tell him. Well, you know, pool cool players are so unpredictable. Yeah, well, that's right. Miguel Castillo. Miguel Castillo. Yeah, I also no problems from here. Come back out one rail to the middle and should be fine. Yeah, we need to get table number nine promptly. Thanks. Uh, left himself a, a little long, but... As we say, say in the south, we left a little meat on that bone there. Yeah. They should be fine. Tiger's Eye. Who's Tiger's Eye? Uh, Kenny Wills. Oh, that's right. They come up dry there, and they didn't really leave much. You got Josh Hill and I'm a boost. Hey. Stay Wow, look at that. Uh, Someone's asking about the Tony Watson Keith Bennett match. Uh, I think Tony won 13 to 8. 7. 13 7. That's what I heard. It was a pretty fast match, too. Well, they both played pretty fast. I uh, missed that kick, though. A little ball on hand, but look at the two. Trying to get tied up. Got a little funny. 
closer to six. Probably just shoot for an angle. The shoot right in between that three and six. Yeah. And it's come out one rail and three in the side and ABC from there. Yeah, it's easy from up here. Isn't it? The game's so easy. Mm -hmm. There you go, Ron. I didn't hear you better now. <laughs> Yeah, Tony looked uh, good. It was Keith had him down a little bit, I think, and uh, then Tony caught his little gear and uh, got a few rolls and played good from there on out. Yeah, I was playing my match when uh, that was going on. How many players did we wind up with the nine ball? Uh, 68. 68. 68 players. I think it's like 54 or 55 for the 8-ball they got. So uh, they decided to change from 9-ball uh, in one pocket to 9-ball in 8-ball. And looking at having a pretty good turnout. Uh, my friend Melanie Shaw just got on. She's viewing. Good shout out to her and Kevin. They just had a baby. Two months old. Maddox. Congratulations. So if you can hear me, Melanie, just uh, chat. Use a username or pick one out. David Liu's on, if that's him. Wall Street one. Hey, and Wall Street, I Steve, might be. Steve is making my cues as we speak. No. <laughs> I don't know if he's making them right now. Wall Street, I, I may be wrong on that. Uh, I caught about the last half of the match. And uh, if you're watching the match, you know more about it than I do. Okay, here we go. Champ breaking up 4 2. Steve, I, I, I think I told you that I didn't want a finalic on the break cue, just on the jump cue. And Sam Sarah, I think, is fine. <laughs> it's almost like the finale tip, though, huh? Those Sam Sarah. I, I've never tried one of those. But I, I just. I well, just Champ. Don't st shoot straight enough. Champ to. made a uh, couple balls on the break. Um, I tell Shaw on the two. You know, he could, he could scratch here in the corner easily if he ain't careful. Yeah, this is a little tough because he can't thin it. He doesn't have much of a side rail there to send the cue, the two ball. Uh, let's see what he might just hit it and bump it and bring it up by the. Well, or he could play. Wow. It. Oh, that's amazing. Good shot. He feels comfortable, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, that's my momentum shot right there. A little combination. And it looks like uh, he ain't got no problems this right. You know, you're feeling confident. You know, you, you can shoot those balls. If you're not, play safe. Yeah, the pockets on this table is uh, not huge, but uh, they're right. nowhere near tight either. Right. They're uh, what I call confidence-building tables or pockets. He's got to use a little stroke on this shot. Yeah, if he can get back where the cue ball is now, he'll be fine. Yeah. He'd like to get back a little further, though. About a second diamond. Yeah. Big names are in this? Uh, big names. I guess well, you're AAA players. Shannon and uh, Shannon Dalton, Larry, Larry Neville, uh, and uh, Tony Watson, Keith Bennett is here. Uh, Alex Olinger. Uh, Alex Olinger. Uh, Sam Mundy. Sammy Monday, yeah. Tony Watson, I said. Uh, I don't know who else. Then you got your uh, 
short get you to Ron Parks, the yeah, subject yeah. to beat any of them at any time. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else? I don't know. There's like 68 players. Uh, I don't know who else. Carrie Dunn, who plays well. Keith oh, Bennett. Josh Newman. Josh Newman, Good yes. Yeah. Matt Reed. And I heard uh, Larry Kressel shows showing up for the eight ball tournament. Oh, was that right? He was in the player auction. Okay. But he said big names. So I guess the top three. Yeah. Those are the big names. Well, my name's kind of long, if that counts. Rodney Strickland, yes. It's long. I don't know if it's, it's long like enough. <laughs> Not to be confused with Earl Strickland, right? No. <laughs> That's okay. I'll take his talent, though. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, Plays good. Cotton made the ball on the break. He's got a shot to one. Oh, yes, yeah, so and we can't leave out Mike Fuller. Mike Fuller's. Oh, Mike Fuller, yeah. I forgot about him. Great player. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that, Bulldog. How did I forget? I that? mean, Tiger's Eye. Yeah, we uh, we don't keep up with every single player. Yeah. Uh, someone asking about Mike Davis. I think he's living up no. north now, isn't he? Mike Davis. Like uh, in Pennsylvania or something? Mike Davis, the pool player. There is a Mike Davis who is Shannon's sponsor on the tour here. But it's a different one. Uh, Mike Davis, I think, is, uh, well, he goes everywhere. I mean, he's he was in Charlotte place. at one time, and I think, uh, for some reason, I'm thinking that I've seen or heard that he's up around Pennsylvania area or something. Possibly, yeah. Well, uh, Cotton's got to bear down a little bit. Otherwise, uh, this match might get a little out of hand. And that's the great thing about the alternating, the alternating break format. Uh, you kind of got a, like I said earlier when I was commentating, that I, I look at it like a tennis match. You kind of got to hold your own serve. Yeah. Uh, well, you know that's. Uh that's the, a lot of players agree with the alternating breaks uh, because that way both players do have a chance. And it makes um, for a lot closer matches, too. Right, it's always going to be a closer match. Uh, Buddy Hall, uh, he agreed with it. I, I played in one of his tournaments in Metro, Metropolis, uh, Indiana, was it? Illinois. Illinois. It's right down in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, I played in a tournament. I, I finished pretty good. I finished seventh. And... Um, but it was the same format. It was alternating break. And that was years ago. But and this might get a little funny here. You know, you don't want to sit there. And, you know, you're playing in a, in a tournament and you're playing your best pool. And the guy runs six racks on you. I mean, it's not, it's not the uh, best feeling in the world when you're uh, playing catch-up. I think one of the perfect examples of that is I saw I actually saw uh, it was Jeremy Johnson and Shannon Dalton here in Goldsboro. Jeremy Pardon. Johnson? I mean Jeremy Jones, sorry Jeremy, Jeremy Jones. Jones. I was going to say, is that somebody I don't know? <laughs> and uh, Shannon was up like uh, 10 to 5 or something like that and broke and came up dry and Jeremy ran the set out to 15. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, Jeremy's a uh, top pro. He's a champion. Well, just like that, it's 6-2. I guess they're ready to start with 8-ball. Table number 4, Dana Hallett and Joe Pierce. Dana Hallett, Joe Pierce on 4. Are you in the 8-ball, Rodney? That will be a 6-5 uh, yes, race. Oh, that'd be something if they called this ball. Match on four. Yeah, really. Hey, guys, if you do leave, or... For some reason, please let us know on your chart. If you're leaving, go get something to eat. If you want to go take a nap, we are going to play one full round in the eight ball tonight. 
one full round. So it's your responsibility to come over here. I'm not going to chase you down. Shannon's not going to chase you down. So if you leave, let us know, please. Thanks. Well, let's see what Cotton can do here. Yeah, I think he uh, he's far behind. He should, uh, if he can win this match, this uh, game, get back in the match, he'll be fine. You know, I was talking before about that uh, alternating breaks versus winter breaks. You know, those world champions would love uh, winter breaks all the time, and that's what they that's how they play in the U.S. Open and a lot of other events. But I don't know. Maybe we're transitioning to uh, alternating breaks. You know, it's great if you're up uh, six games in your winter breaks. But uh, when you're trailing and it's alternating breaks... Well, then it's a tough uh, comeback. All right. Cotton, uh, he's doing good so far on this rack. I kind of want to see a closer game here. Well, if Cotton gets out from here, it'll be uh, right on cue where they both need uh, three games apiece. Yeah. Yeah, Cotton is, uh, you know, he's a big aficionado of pool. You know, he buys people in the auctions. Uh, he's always around. Goes to a lot of tournaments. Ah, yeah, good. He got out. Good. 3-6. Well, it's cold up here. I don't know about uh, Charlotte, where I, I live, but uh, it probably is cold there, too. But they say tomorrow's going to be really nice, so I'm looking forward to the warmer weather. Now, where is it you're at now, Ron? Charlotte. Charlotte? Yeah. I never did like the cold. That's why I moved down here. One of the reasons. Brutally cold up north. Yeah, Shannon and Marge are doing the raffle for Larry and I, and for Marge's aunt. That's right. Yes, and it's probably one of the biggest raffles they've ever done. I'm not sure how much. They're giving away seven drawings. That is a seven to five race. Uh, pool, pool players, 1976. Uh, there is no admission for the tournament if you want to come out. They got great food here. Uh, nice little setup. I think champ should be out from here. Yeah, I think so. Just Pretty draw it back up. a little. He said he's gonna come with your ass.
Uh, I don't know where you would hear that, uh, Kenny. Not at a pool room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, they're just kidding around. Keith Bennett and Sam Monday. And that'll put uh, Champ up, makes this in the side. And yeah, puts him up seven to three in the break. Well, your viewers probably hear the uh, music in the background, but I got to tell you, it's good music. Uh, I made a five in the corner of the wing ball. I have a little combination or play the one straight in past the four. Yeah, I'll probably go for the combo. My guess. Yeah, you don't want to miss the four if you don't have to. Right. They could easily Good kick point. over here behind the six and eight. Good point. They probably just slow roll it into the four. But the other thing that can happen, you can hit the four. Right, in the eight ball. Take maybe a little two. too. Uh, can I get Jim four. Porter and Delton Howard? Yeah, like that. Jim you know what I mean? Porter, uh, yeah. It's Jim. Delton Howard on two. But he got lucky. That will be a six to five race. Six to five. An eight ball? Yeah, I, I think it's um, it might take forever, huh? four, five, six, seven, and eight, the rankings for eight ball. Wow. C's go to four, B's go to five, A's go to six, double A's seven, and triple A's eight. Oh, my gosh. Sevens. So a double A would go to seven, and A's go to six? Yes. Pretty long race. I can for eight ball. Yes. Well, you got to think so hard. You know, somebody told me. Uh, you know, it's similar to straight pull. In a, in a way, it is, but you have uh, opponents' balls there, there on the table, blocking your shots, and that's the only difference. Yeah, there's a lot, lot more breakout pull playing eight ball. Yeah. Especially when you get on the bar table or something and do it. A lot of thinking. Um, you know, you got to make a determination whether you want to play safe, you want to run out, go for the run out. Oh, you might got a little fortunate there. Yeah, you do. Totally different animal. If it were up to me, I'd, I'd play straight pool rather than eight ball. They did about all they could with that one. Yeah. Thank goodness He's gonna big pockets, huh? take his medicine here and don't forget, guys, ball shoot this longer cut head. shot. Could be trouble. Oh. Well, Shannon just announced that you got to hit the head ball. In eight ball. Yeah. It's I at the U.S. Amateurs. I I was a few times I shot second ball. And I made the eight ball on the break doing it. So, but I remember the IPT, you could only hit the eight head ball too. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing is they're playing, uh, for the most part, the IPT rules. Yeah, which is good. I, I have nothing against it. Well, do you, but do you have choice? If you make a low, do you still have choice? As long as you make a ball, it's still okay, open. Okay, good. That's good. That's always better. Because you can make three, money, three high balls on the break. And get stitched and you know, yeah. never have a shot at your ball. At least this way you you may have a shot. I 
I am not sure Wall Street about uh, Jeff and Mike last night. Um, I think Mike might have came out ahead. Jeff and Mike. Um, Mike Walker. Mike Walker and Abernathy. Oh, they played. Were gambling some last night. Uh, I think Mike came out ahead, wow. and he's giving him five going to nine. Jeff was. It's tough action. It's a tough spot. I'll tell you though that, that Mike Walker, he. Uh, he matches yeah, up good. He, yeah, he does. And he knows how to play safe. Exactly. That's he, a big deal when you're pull, give, giving somebody weight. Yeah, when you're, when you're getting weight and can play good safes, Yeah, it's you rely tough. on that. You rely on bad safes. And, but Mike plays pretty good safes. And he can make shots. So, I don't know. Five to nine, is a, that's, that's tough. Yeah, you just, it's a Gotta big hill to run up. Got to beat him nine to four. Well, if he can get a good challenge of seven here, uh, this might take care of this match. I'd like, like to play Mike Walker some, but I don't know. You know, yeah, I think he'd want too much weight. I don't even know if I can. I, I'd give him three on the wire the rest of the night. That's all I'd give him. Well, a lot of people trying to play him, so he really don't have to get out of line too much. He's going to try to have it in his advantage, people chasing him, you know. Right. Which I'd be the same way. Absolutely. Well, it looks like Champ wanted to draw that ball a little more. He's he wanted to take a scratch out of play, I think. That's why he yeah. just come back to center of the table. And this one's in the books, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. It was nice commentating with you, Ron. Yeah. And yeah, uh, we'll see y'all later. Probably the next match you'll see will be an an eight ball match. And I uh, hope everybody stays out there watching. If you get a chance, come on out. You guys take care.